Yo, Dimitri here. If you're new around here, we make films. And we talk about how I made them. Well, welcome to my third shooting a film start to finish video. I'm gonna be breaking down how I shot my short film, Uncontrollable. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Link below and at the end of the video. Coming into this short film, I knew that I was going to be focused on three aspects, which are composition, framing, and lighting. For gear I used the Panasonic Lumix G7 EGI Ronin SE. Not sure the name exactly, but I think it's a Velvon tripod. For lenses, I used the Lumix 25mm and the kit lens. So for scene one, I knew that I was gonna have to start the film off with music because if I didn't start off and went into the story, it wouldn't make sense. And just to give the viewers some perspective on what's happening on the story. For the lighting of this exact shot, I used a light, as you can see in the mirror, it was facing towards the wall. And then that's basically smoothing out my face. And then for backlight, I used a lamp, which was facing to the chair, as you can see behind. The chair is fully lit and then behind as you can see there's like a, a orange salt lamp which I turned on to give a bit of back, uh, backlight and depth. If you look at all my other short films, most of them don't have depth and what I mean by that is it's just a flat image. Like there's nowhere to look at. I used wide shots and that's it. Basically, most of mostly most because I have no idea what the other shots were but that's not the only reason I added depth. I added depth because I wanted to focus on depth for the short film that was the most like priority i wasn't focused on the story that's where the story came out so weak i wasn't focused on anything else just the depth in this short film Here's a good example of the depth that i was talking about uh, as you can see i placed uh, those bottles of cream or whatever they are on the right hand side so it looks more natural and feels more homey-ish here are my camera settings for this exact shot this is how i got this shot yes i put my camera in a bathtub this is probably my favorite shot of the whole film because it shows depth which is the number thing i was going for and it also shows um, the whole feeling and emotion that's going through um, my head in that short film at the moment. So, yeah. Fun fact, anytime I'm on my phone in any of these scenes, I'm controlling the camera via, uh, I think it's camera, L Lumix camera app or something. I don't know. Here it is on screen. This is how I got this shot. Surprisingly, I'm still surprised of how weird the whole setup was but it worked for anyone wondering these were my camera settings another very famous kind of scene i would say is this one i focus mainly on the door so everything in the background will be blurred out another very key scene is this one it is where i found find out what to do to stop notifications from going in for this last uh, kind of shot i used central framing because uh, I wanted to show the emotion and what the character was feeling after he found out what to do or how to solve the conflict. I used Artlist music uh, for the short film and for this BTS video. I hope me sharing the short film and my process with you proves that circumstances don't really matter. No excuse to not make something. All about using what you got because at the end of the day, your skills are what matters. Get your knowledge up. Keep learning. Keep hustling. Thanks for watching.